Pals and Kins, it is your girl, Dollhouse Babe, and I'm back with another video. So as you can see, we are in the kitchen today, honey. We finna whip it up, whip it up, whip it up, okay? So um, I had told y'all in a video, maybe like two videos ago, the little yang yang around the house. Um, when I had did my little yang yang video, I had told y'all that I do make my own hair oil. And today is Sunday. So today, like Sundays usually are real easy self-care days, um, real chill type days. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my hair oil today. And I'm gonna pretty much walk y'all through how I make this hair oil. I did pretty much get this recipe from somebody else off of Instagram, um, off of YouTube, I mean. And if you check YouTube, you'll always, you'll be able to see this particular recipe. Um, it's called the Ayurvedic Herb. So it's an Ayurvedic herb hair oil. And if you look on YouTube, you'll be able to find it on there. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through pretty much how I make the hair oil. I'm not super precise about my measurements or anything like that. So a lot of stuff I do just eyeball and you know put in there as I see fit. But I, now I'm gonna let y'all know all of the products that I'll be using and all of the ingredients that go into the hair oil. All right, so y'all stay tuned. These are the ingredients that I use in my oil. My bases are castor oil, extra virgin olive oil, and coconut oil. Oh, here's one. And coconut oil. These are the bases that I start with. And then I have my crushed fenugreek seeds. We have rosemary leaves. We have tea tree oil rosemary oil, vitamin E, Maha Varungara oil. This is one that I got from the, like I say, some of these ingredients you're gonna have to get from your Indian food, um, whole food store. This is one I got from the Indian whole food store. This is like, I guess, the holy grail for the hair oil. Like this, and then the other, this ingredients, alma powder, like the alma powder, and I'm gonna show y'all how it comes. It's probably a little dusty. Yeah, so the alma powder, brahmi powder as well. These are like what's really kicking it up. And then I also use hibiscus powder. Hibiscus powder, and those were all Found, like I said at the Indian food store these are like your key ingredients for this oil so this is what pretty much makes it an um the Ayurvedic oil recipe these particular ingredients if you don't have these ingredients then it's not really an Ayurvedic oil all right so pretty much that's all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using and I will let y'all know how much I put in there once I get started. Um, utensils that you're gonna need, I just use a plain um, plastic spoon to mix with. I do I, I do use measuring cups a little bit, so I do use my measuring cups to a small degree when I'm using, excuse me, I had to burp, when I'm using the almond powder and the brahmi powder, so I do use this a little. And then this is the bowl that you will pretty much mix everything in. Right now, I have my pot on. Oh my gosh, and this has not even been... Wow, I thought it was on, y'all. Okay. So I thought it was on, and it wasn't. So it hasn't been boiling this entire time. So I've just been sitting here thinking that it's been boiling, and it hasn't. So we're going to wait for that to boil. But pretty much, when this comes to a boil, you put this on top. You put this on top. And then this is how you start cooking your oil. So once this comes to a boil, I'll come back. All right, y'all. So the pot is a little bit hotter. It hasn't come to a complete boil, which is not a bad thing. That's cool. So what we're going to start with first is our coconut oil. And I put a great deal of coconut oil in there. So that was one, two three i'm gonna just use my whole container of coconut oil today the rest that i had in there 
after that. Use this. Now I'll kind of show y'all how it how it's starting to melt. It's gonna melt down. Alright, so as y'all can see that coconut oil is melting down really nicely. So then the next thing you want to do is get your olive oil. Olive oil in there. All right. So we've got our coconut oil in there and I'm gonna pour in the olive oil. And this is extra virgin olive oil. I, I literally eyeball, okay guys? And But this, like I say, is your base. You wanna have a really good base. And then this here, then this one is castor oil I'm gonna put in. And you want your castor oil to, I put in a great deal of castor oil. You just, I eyeball at this point. I made this oil a few times, so I don't necessarily have to do a whole lot. Um, and then castor oil is good. All right. So then the next thing you want to do, I'm just going to let the coconut oil completely um, dissolve down and then we'll go ahead and start adding in our hibiscus powder and our crushed fenugreek that'll be so the um, hibiscus powder the rosemary leaves and the crushed fenugreek will be the next to be put in there okay all right y'all so I have my olive oil extra virgin olive oil coconut oil and castor oil in the pot so I'm just gonna let that pretty much mixed down and this is a really good base I actually might put a little bit more um, extra virgin olive oil and a little bit more coconut oil I mean a little bit more of the castor oil in there and I always add the vitamin E at the end so vitamin E always at the end, um, along with the rosemary oil and tea tree oils, I put those in the, at the end as well. Righty, so we've got that, let me move this here. All right, so next we are going to put in our hibiscus powder. So I'm gonna put that in next. And for this one, I usually use like a tea, like a tablespoon. So like that much hibiscus powder, okay? And I'll show y'all what that looks uh, like. The hibiscus powder. And a lot of this uh, hair oil is just adding the ingredients in, mixing them in, and then allowing them to just simmer in. So you, this is about a 15 to 20 minute process. Um, it might look a little bit slower here just because I'm trying to be very detailed and let y'all know how, I, how I'm adding things in. I hate that I'm not really doing measurements, but I would say with the coconut oil, you're doing at least five tablespoons of the coconut oil, you know, maybe about the same amount for the, um, the castor oil. You don't have to use as much. You could use a little bit less. I hate, I hate I don't have measurements for y'all because that'd be great. <laughs> but yeah. So. All right, y'all. So I have added in the rosemary leaves and I've added in fenugreek seeds. Oops, let me move this pot over. So those are the rosemary leaves and these seeds that are in here, these are fenugreek seeds. Um, so I put all of that in there. And you just like mix it around and kind of like stir it you really want it to all simmer down 
and the heat underneath with the pot that's boiling is really allowing all of the ingredients and all of the properties to just come together. And so that's pretty much what you're doing here. All right, so we've got our rosemary leaves in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and start putting in our brahmi powder and also the alma powder, okay? So the brahmi powder and the alma powders come in these little packages. They are very loose powders, so you might lose a little bit of product. <laughs> I'm be real with you because these products are very loose powders. And for the for the Brahmi and for the Alma, you literally want to do like one nice tablespoon. Oops, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's so messy. It is so messy, I'm so sorry. Yeah, but I'm just gonna have to do it in separate. So that's one, and then let's just do one more. And I'm gonna probably get some other extras okay and then that's another one and that's your brownie powder and just go ahead and start it in there start it in start it in start it by being okay and i'm gonna tell y'all this this oil has changed over time because at one point <laughs> it smelled a lot like syrup and people were like ooh, like who smells like waffles? Somebody smells like waffles. And that was me. I was the one smelling like waffles, child. Smelling like a good old waffle. But I've changed up the um I've changed up the amount of certain ingredients that I use so it doesn't have that crazy syrupy smell to it anymore. And then I add a little bit of dish to it. And obviously, I'm not trying to sell this powder because I'm telling y'all the ingredients. So. And honestly, I got it. Like I said, I got this complete recipe of somebody off Insta, off YouTube. So really, if she was, if anybody gonna sell it, it would be her. So y'all see that? And this is the alma powder. We're gonna throw that baby in there and just mix the girl in. Just mix her in. You know, like I say, the powder is very, it's a little messy. So you're gonna have a little powder everywhere, but just, you know, be cool, be cool. All right, let's get nice and hot. Let me go ahead and turn this heat down. Turn that heat down, baby. Get nice and hot. Mm-hmm. Over here, reducing. Nice reduction. So yes, ma'am. And I'ma pretty much I'ma mix this up and let y'all see what the color, what color y'all should see when you have pretty much made your powder, um, your when you made your oil correctly. And it's a very dark oil, very dark oil. But I'm telling you, if you wanna grow your hair out, if you want your hair to thicken up, if you wanna stop breakage on your hair, this is the oil to go to. And last but not least, I'm going to add the secret ingredients, which this is pretty much what they say is the holy grail child to hair growth. So I eyeball this. It has a very small little thing at the top, so it doesn't a, a lot of product does not come out. So you gotta you gotta kind of squeeze. You gotta squeeze this one. You gotta squeeze that baby. Okay, I do about two squeezes. Two squeezes is probably enough. You probably don't need no more than that. Two squeezes is just perfect. You know, you do about two squeezes, and this is that um, Maha Maha Baringara oil. About two squeezes of that, child, and you're good. You're good, okay? I might do one more. Let's do one more because this is the good stuff. Okay, so that's good. We good. We good. We put enough of the good stuff in there. All right, we good. We good. Perfect. All right, and the last items that will be put in there, but these items will be put in once the oil is done simmering and all of that. And once I put it in a mason jar, I will put in vitamin E. 
I put in some drops of rosemary oil. And then I also put in some drops of tea tree oil, but these all go into the oil at the last at the last part. So I will come back. I will, I'll let, let me let y'all see what it looks like. And then I'll come back and show y'all how I put it in the mason jars and all of that, okay? All right, dolls. So this is how your oil should pretty much look. I'm gonna mix it around a little bit so y'all can see the color. And you do wanna stir this periodically. So, you know, if you are in the habit of making like a gumbo or a roux or something like that, similar, not the same, but similar. So just make sure that you're stirring this. I did cut my heat down and I'm gonna probably cut it down a little bit more cause now we're just simmering the oil. So really you could cut it down a great deal and you're just simmering, pretty much putting all of the ingredients that you put together. You are just mixing all of that in and you see like that nice brown color that it has on there. So yeah, this is gonna be good, good, good. Yeah. Okay, so our oil has been simmering for about 15 to 20 minutes at this point. So I am going to take the oil out of here and put it in a mason jar. So pretty much these are the mason jars that I use. You can get them from Walmart. I got like a four pack for, oh, for a certain amount. It is hot, a little bit, it's a little hot. So I'm gonna turn that off. And then we are going to basically just pour all of the oil you could do this over a sink of course but i pretty much already know what's gonna happen so i'm gonna pour it in like this oh we got a lot of oil this time so we got a lot of oil and you just want to drain out all of the good stuff too this is all the good stuff we're gonna drain all of that out as well because you let your oil sit in sunlight for at least five days so this oil does sit so basically all of the properties that you put in there all of the powders all of that it's giving all of that stuff roughly five days to simmer in and to get all in there so this is what my mason jar looks like and of course, I'm gonna strain out all of that stuff. So I probably have, you know, at least, I have a good amount of oil though. This is an amazing set. This is a good one, y'all. It's that good batch, that good batch. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up on the block and you can get some for $10, period. This is a good batch though. It's a real good batch. So your rosemary is all at the top. You got your fenugreek seeds and your powders. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of mix it a little bit in the jar. Don't be scared, mix that baby in the jar. And as your, as your oil is sitting in the sunlight, like once a day, go and shake it up. Go and shake it up just to make sure everything's all getting mixed in, it's settling nice. You understand? So, boom. All right, so now we're gonna add in our last little bit of ingredients vitamin E oil. I'm gonna just throw that in there. Boom cat pow. I didn't have a whole lot, so I'm gonna use the last bit of my vitamin E. Rosemary oil. Of course, you already put your rosemary um, leaves in there, but girl, this just gonna take it up a notch. Rosemary oil is really good for blood circulation and things like that. So when you're massaging this oil in at night, it'll just pretty much Open those pores and allow your head to grow. So I put in some rosemary oil and then throw in some tea tree oil as well, y'all. So throw in some tea tree. I don't really like a whole lot of tea tree oil, but I will throw in a good amount because this oil batch is pretty decent. So I will throw in a good amount in there. And baby, you just go in, you just go in. I might put a little bit more. I love rosemary oil. Like I say, the rosemary is helping out a lot. All right, so boom. Now, when I go ahead and mix those in, I shake the thing, I shake the jar. So shake it, shake your jar. Make sure your jar, of course, is held, is closed tight. 
and make sure that you have a good grip on it, of course. But you're just gonna shake that jar up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it, shake it, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up. All right, you might not want to shake it up too hard because if you drop this, you got to do the whole process over again. So you shake it up good and boom. And now you have hair oil and with a hair oil amount, like with an amount like this, I pr pretty much have hair oil for at least, for at least three months, I would say. This could last me up to three months. So yes, ladies, this is how you make your own homemade, um, homemade hair oil. Like I said, this hair oil, oil uh, like I said, this hair oil is really, really great if you're trying to grow your hair out, if you want thicker hair, um, if you want to stop some breakage that you may be seeing um, in your hair. And it's really, really moisturizing as well. Like I say, those bases for the extra virgin olive oil, the coconut oil, and the castor, and the castor oil, really give you um, a lot of moisture and things like that. The other ingredients are pretty much is what help is what's helping with your hair growth and stuff like that. So make sure you put in enough of your bases and this oil is so, so moisturizing. Like I said, I've been using this for roughly a year. I cut my hair off. I cut all of it off again in February. So I've seen really, really great um, hair results or hair growth results with this oil. Um, eventually, I'll show y'all some pictures and stuff because I know being able to see pictures and photos of somebody's hair growth is a lot better than them just telling you. Um, but I am putting y'all on to the oil that I use. So ladies, go to your local Indian grocery store and go to like a GNC or something like that to get some hair oils. Um, they do have hair oils at the Indian grocery store as well, so you don't have to go to two different places. I just like a lot of the oils that they do have at GNC. Um, but yeah, pick this up, girl. Make your hair oil at home and stop paying these people $40, $50 for hair oil that really doesn't work. You know what I mean? At least you know that this is going to work. You made it at home. You sat there. You took the time to do it. The process is fairly easy. Like I say, to make this whole oil, you'll probably spend like 30 minutes out of your time. Um, so yeah, I hope that y'all really enjoyed this video. Hope y'all got something out of it. Again, it is a dollhouse, babe. I love you guys.